All right, here is me replacing this magnifying filter. Ah, because I can't really see anything. Uh, oh, I think I introduced some crap into my transmission. And so people will tell you that's the old style. Yeah, 3 eighths. And this is the new style, 3 eighths. Really kind of pointy. It says out, it says flow. Cool. Um, and I'm planning on cutting that old one open and seeing what it looks like because people say that, um, oh, you know, it's magnetic, but your transmission is largely not uh, made of magnetic material. So what's the point? But I think it does have a screen filter in it, uh, like a cotton or whatever. So we'll see what it looks like. Sorry, there's going to be some voiceover in this because my camera screwed up. So, this is my setup. I used a small car radiator, but I think you can use any oil radiator. Uh, just had a 3 8 inch line coming out, going to the filter, going to the radiator, and then going back to uh, the transmission. And you can remember that the bottom one is going out because the pump is at the bottom, so obviously it's pushing out on the pump side and then receiving the oil back in on the side where there's no pump which is at the top and the pump would be on the bottom because it's something from the bottom of the transmission pan. So I'm pouring the uh, fluid out of both ends of this thing and I'm already seeing, I don't know if that will read, yeah. yeah you can see it, so I'm serious brass looking flakes yeah so seems like uh, good news and bad news hopefully they were hopefully they're being caught bad news is that's a horrible thing to see coming out of your transmission too bad this thing doesn't focus so sorry for the voiceover, my camera was uh, screwing up. But anyway, this is when you cut it open, you can see some flake in there. There's the big magnet on the inlet side. And uh, nor during normal operation, fluid goes uh, around the outside and then through the filter media to the inside under normal operation. And there's a the little button there at the top that's normally closed uh, a valve so that it can go through the filter media and go out the bottom but if there's too much uh, gunk in the filter media I think that button gets depressed and their little spring just fell out um, but I think that button depresses and then it goes around the button just straight through the middle of it now here's a look at the top of it again I think that's just a guide to direct the flow it's possible that some of the flow is supposed to go uh, into the center of the uh, magnet because it was pretty dirty on both the top and the bottom, which we'll see after I stop looking at this flaky part. There's definitely a lot of crap on there, uh, just like uh, in the bottom after change of uh, your uh, transmission pan. It's this really, really ultra fine basically uh, ferrofluid still probably not doing your transmission any uh, any favors and there you can see that little white button in the center these videos are out of order sorry about that there's the button and uh, you can see there's a bunch of crap on both sides of the magnet it's a fairly strong magnet it's pretty nice and here's me pushing in the mag uh, the button rather it's very easy to do that. It does not take much pressure at all. And I think that's the bypass valve. And here are some shots of the filter up close. I think this was on there for about 20,000 miles. And since my camera sucks, you can't really see much anyway. But obviously it trapped some stuff. But I also don't know what this media looked like new, so it's not really super helpful. But anyway, it seems to be uh, well made. 
and I will be continuing to use it because it's cheap insurance, I guess. <laughs>